It's springtime in southern Michigan. The first flowers are blooming and some of our first bees are making their nests. Soaring above these first signs of spring, we see the turkey vulture. This particular flock in the Irish hills I've seen come in spring after spring and have always enjoyed watching them in flight. The turkey vulture's range spans to all but the northern reaches of the western hemisphere. Michigan turkey vultures are only warm season residents. Turkey vultures can be seen flying over the forest. and they love gliding around open fields. Turkey vultures don't shy away from civilization, so they can be found on your barns or over your roads. They've been known to nest in old logs or in the old barn. Turkey vultures lay one to three eggs once a year. They incubate them for 28 to 40 days. The hatchlings will stay in the nest for another 60 to 84 days. You can find turkey vultures anywhere their favorite food is. Carrion. Turkey vultures have a very particular and important ecological niche. They are scavengers looking for freshly deceased carcasses. They have many special adaptations which vultures have adapted for their niche. A powerful nose, unusual in the bird kingdom, allows them to easily locate nearby carrion. and their featherless head, along with a powerful gut, keeps them from getting sickness or disease from the carcasses they've scavenged. The role in their environment is as cleaners, which can even help control the spread of disease. Interestingly, the turkey vulture isn't closely related to the old world vultures. They exploit the same niche through convergent evolution. Without vultures to eat dead animals, rotting carcasses could become a serious problem and disease would have a chance to spread more readily. Turkey vultures should be cherished as an integral part of the environment. Currently, the turkey vulture population is estimated at 18 million and it's considered stable. Though protected by laws such as the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, the turkey vulture does have some threats posed against it. Turkey vultures have made a steady climb in numbers since the ban of DDT which caused many side effects in them. Even though they aren't predators, 
Turkey vultures are occasionally shot because of a misconception that they hunt livestock. And if turkey vultures eat a carcass with lead shot from a hunter in it, it could prove fatal. It could also be fatal if a turkey vulture eats a carcass with toxic chemicals in it. To respect turkey vultures, we must be careful with how we dispose of chemicals and what we hunt with. Turkey vultures display many unique and interesting characteristics. Often after damp nights or when it's cold, they can be seen with their wings spread to gain warmth and dry their wings. This action may also kill harmful bacteria. They have even been known to practice the strange habit of defecating on their legs in warmer weather in order to stay cool. Stranger yet is the way in which turkey vultures defend themselves against predators. They actually vomit on any predators in order to deter them. This master glider is a pro at finding warm thermal updrafts to keep it airborne with barely a flap. It is my hope that this unusual yet interesting bird is around for generations to come. Next time you're driving and see that teetering gliding V in the air, remember the wonderful turkey vulture. Thank you.